is, it is time to, to wrap up. And um, I won't take you long. I, I know that, that lunch is waiting, and it, it has been a long day. Um, I, I, I just wanted to say that it has been uh, three days full of creative discussion and, um, and free spirit and, uh, and open word. And I think that it is actually the key, the key is atmosphere of the Leonard Mary Conference. And I'm extremely happy that, that the atmosphere was quite, quite felt here. Um, it, is, it is just to, if, to, if to speak very shortly about some takeaways from the conference, for me personally. Um, then I, I mean that what was striking for me from the first, practically first words of of uh, first panel was of course the um, the rise of China topic to to the primary topic of a conference. It didn't matter whether it was Belarus panel, whether it was the Middle East, whether it was Russia, but China was there anyway. And a second one, it was it was the youth panel. And um, I was actually what amazed and what I was struck about, it was the, um, that we have pretty many gaps in society and between societies and in the alliances and between the alliances. But this generation gap is something what we should turn our attention to. And it is simply because um, the youth who is growing up now that we are pretty different. I mean that even the perception of threat is different. That they are more complex. We, we have used to have hard power and, and soft power, but for them it is more blurred. And um, we not necessarily maybe reach them, because when we try to reach them by tweeting, then as Solvita said, they are not there, they are in Instagram. So <laughs> just to to try to make a bridge, because really we need to understand that, keep in mind that in the next 10, 15 years, they run the things. And if we want to give our message to them, it is a high time. Uh, so, but uh, I, I have really my thanks to say, and it is from full heart. Um, I first, I want to thank our president, who is our patron, and who has been of enormous help to, to the whole conference, together with his, uh, with his team from, uh, from Presidential Palace. I want to thank my own ICDS with, with, uh, with the head, uh, Sven Sakov, who has been behind me. And my most profound <laughs> thanks goes to, to my team, what is Maret, Piret, Trin, Ep, it is just, I bow before you. <laughs> there, is, <coughs> there is the uh, Twitter team and Maris who, who made just a great work. It was, it was just well done. Um, I also thank to, to uh, the technical team with Ivar in the head from Mergi B. What was just Good work, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and <clears throat> I, I, I want to thank all the team of the volunteers. I mean that without you it couldn't be possible. You were anywhere, everywhere, every time. I'm really thankful. So, and, and to the hotel, we, we have been here for long years. I think that for you, is it, it, it's like uh, the fundamental place for Leonard Murray Conference. And the smoothness and friendliness and the flexibility we, we had from the hotel side, whether it was uh, catering, whether it was, it was uh, logistics, whether it was whatever question, really, thanks. Um, so I, and there are some, my personal, <laughs> my personal thanks goes to some, some persons that, um, 
there has been during the during the organizing work, as, as always, there are hard times and, and good times. And the previous directors of Leonard May Conference, Katri Leek and Rina Kallurand, has always been there, <laughs> not only to give uh, their intellectual input, what was very important, but also to give their shoulders when I needed to weep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, deeply, I'm deeply thankful. I also thank uh, Mati Masikas and Yuri Luik. They, they were of great help. And <coughs> I, uh, my special thanks to, to Edward Lucas, Alan Riley, James Sher, and Georgian, uh, uh, Georgian Ambassador Thea, who, had a, who really helped me a lot. Um, <laughs> and last, but absolutely not, not least, I actually, I want to thank all the distinguished speakers and distinguished moderators and you, the auditorium, because I really, it is you who make this conference. If you keep coming back, if you're going to, to give the input, if you're going to contribute, the Leonard Mary conference will be, as it has always been, one of my favorite conferences ever. And the next year conference, I announce it now, will take place next year, it's 2020, from 15 to 17 May. And with this announcement, I announce this conference to be over. <laughs>